Hey YouTube, it's Andrew Escovo here, back with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sprechter Cherry Soda. Now, normally I don't do reviews on food or drinks, but after tasting this stuff, I had to do a review on it. It would be blasphemy if I didn't. Now, Sprechter, in case you don't know, is a brand, or a brewery, I should say, that makes high-end gourmet sodas. They don't make anything exotic, but they happen to have perfected the most amazing of flavors of pop there ever was, or ever will be. And uh, the cherry soda, I have to say so far, is my favorite. I've had a few of them. Uh, definitely had a lot of their root beer, and their root beer is pretty darn good. But the cherry cola takes the cake. And uh, let me tell you why. See, this is cherry cola. It's not cherry flavored Coke. It's not cherry flavored Pepsi. It's not cherry flavored something. It's just cherry cola. It's designed to taste cherry, which is different than having something with a predefined flavor with cherry added to it. It's it's different and what they've done is they have perfected the art of making a cherry cola and let me tell you why they actually have a description on here of their process and what they use so I'm gonna read that short description for you and maybe after that you'll understand why it's so darn good Sprechter Cherry Cola is a masterful blend of Wisconsin's own Door County cherry juice, raw Wisconsin honey, and the finest cola extract and a handful of selected spices cooked to, per to perfection in our gas-fired brew kettles, then lightly carbonated for refreshment that tickles the taste buds with an array of pleasing flavors. Once you sip, you'll I'm sorry. One sip, and we're sure that you will agree, Cherry Cola has never tasted this good. And I agree. It has never tasted this good. This stuff is amazing. And it's so amazing that they've got their own website where you can buy them directly from him, the manufacturer, and sent to your house. Now, this is a 16 fluid ounce bottle, or one US pint which is actually a pretty decent size. The only downfall to this pop, or to coal, whatever you want to call it, is that it is relatively expensive. If you buy it in stores, it's about $5 for a four pack. And that sounds like a lot, but trust me, once you sip just even a little bit of this cherry cola, you'll understand that it is more than worth the price. I have a few of these babies every day, and it, it really adds up but I never regret it because I'm a kind of a connoisseur of different flavors of things and I've got to say this by far is the best pop I've ever had in my life and that's saying something and you know like I said I don't normally review these kind of things but this had to be reviewed it's not cheap it's gourmet pop and it's not in a can it's made with love in its own personal bottle. There's nothing that even com you, you can't compare this to anything because it's yeah, it's a cherry cola. There's other cherry colas out there, but this one's different. It's got such a beautiful blend of whatever the hell they mix it with. And there's about 125 calories per bottle, which isn't bad. Most cans of pop are around there, but, you know, there's something about it that just makes it the perfect pop. And really, you shouldn't just take my word for it. You really should go out and buy some of this stuff. Now, this brand deserves to be way more popular than it is. It really does. Because you can tell by the way it tastes that they take time, care, and love to make this pop. Now, you may think, okay, I'm being a bit of a fat ass here, going on and on about how pop tastes. 
but take it from me, literally, when I say this. It is the best pop I've ever had in my life. Whether you call it pop or soda, I don't care. It's something you need to taste to believe. Now, I got this at Jewel, Jewel Osco. Uh, you can get it in some uh, liquor stores. You can get it in a few other varieties of places. But, like I said, you can order it direct from the manufacturer. And I think that's in Wisconsin. The brewery is in Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, Wisconsin has just been known for making really high quality random foods, especially their cheese. And uh, it's not like Canadian bacon where it's just ham. It's actually good stuff. I mean, Wisconsin foods tend to be some of the best. They really do. I, don't, I've, I live in a different state. I don't live in Wisconsin, but I'm sure as hell glad that they made this in Wisconsin. Because they've got the perfect blend of everything up there right there to make the best concoctions of food I've ever seen in my life. Or ever had the pleasure of tasting. So, I could keep going on and on about Sprecture here, but I invite you to just take a look at the link in the description. And just look at it. Try and figure out where you can find this near you. Buy some, taste it, you will not regret it. So that's all I've got to say for this. Just try it. Just try it. It'll be so worth it.